stop laughing so much. It's dumb, but like. I just got back from the last day of my software engineering internship. My mascara is smeared from laughing so much throughout the day. I've been interning at this place for almost three years and I've grown quite attached to it. I'll definitely miss them. This is so sad. I have a space on my extension cord for my work laptop charger and now it's empty. Right there. I'm breaking out so bad because my period just came. I also get really bad cramps on my period and heat packs really help. I use these ones. I think they're like a Japanese brand. You basically just like take it out and then you unwrap it. There's a sticky side to it so you can just like stick it on yourself. It is like a little too hot for me to just stick directly on my skin. So what I do is I stick it onto an old t-shirt and then I literally just wrap it up in this t-shirt like this. And then I stick it down my pants. It looks dumb but like it works so. I want to go buy some dryer sheets because I'm out and I really need to do laundry soon. And I also want to go pick up some food for lunch. So I'm just going to get ready a little bit and I'm going to head out to do that. It's a little bit too much. Cause I've been living life right like I could just die. A rice cake with a little piece of onion. Now we could get to the good stuff. Water for the eggs. I picked. Wow. Black pepper just works on everything. I'm writing a thank you slash goodbye note to one of the computer science professors here. She's actually the first CS professor I ever had and she's one of the main reasons that I actually decided to go down this path and pursue a career in computer science. So she's definitely had a huge impact in my life. It's both of our last semesters here. I'm about to graduate and she's also leaving to pursue some other opportunities. I just wanted to write her a little thank you note for everything that she's done for me throughout the years for the opportunity to take her classes and chat with her and for the inspiration that she has given me to pursue this career I just finished and submitted my last ever final paper. But now I have to study for final season, which starts next week. 
It's Friday night and I have two finals this semester. One is Monday afternoon at like 1.30 I think and my second one is Tuesday afternoon also at 1.30. My first final is for a computer science class called Database Management Systems and I have quite a lot of stuff to catch up on for that class. I've missed a couple of lectures so I need to go back and watch through those old lectures that I missed and there's also a bunch of stuff from throughout the semester that will be on the test that I need to review and go over. My second final on Tuesday is for my neuroethics class. I'm not as worried about that because I have attended all the classes or I think most of the classes for the semester and the class itself and the materials in that class is not super hard or challenging so I'm not too worried. The database one is the one that I'm kind of worried about. Both of my professors were also nice enough to give us a general exam structure so we kind of know a little bit at least about what to expect. So for my database class there's going to be two parts to the final exam. The first part is writing SQL so like creating tables, altering them, inserting in new rows, deleting rows, like that kind of stuff is going to be handwritten SQL. For the second part, it's going to be a bunch of multiple choice questions and the professor gave us like a long list of topics from the semester that we should study and he's just going to pull a couple of topics from the list that he gave us and then write up a bunch of multiple choice questions for that. So for example, like some of the topics that he put in to the list is relational algebra, and so on and so on. So I'm just gonna go through the list, go through all the lectures, take some notes, do some practice questions, look at the old problem sets, and just go from there. For my neuroethics one, I think a lot of it will be like recalling information. We're gonna be given a bunch of questions, and for each of those questions, we have to write out a small paragraph as the answer. And a lot of it will be like the major topics that we've talked about in class throughout the semester. So when I study for that, I think I'll probably make some flashcards on Quizlet maybe, and just try to remember all the most important information from the semester. So like I said earlier, the database exam is the one that I'm most worried about. So I'm going to get started on that right now.